this is where we used the last time so i'll continue from here okay so i've explained um okay so now we are objects so i've shown you log height um convert to bitmap okay let me show you this convert to bitmap so if you click on convert to bitmap what it actually does is this content is converted to rgb black and white grayscale we normally use this bitmap for images for example let me import one image to the workstation i'll just right click right click on import uh let me import um this specify at okay so now i import um this specify hat right here now i can convert this to bitmap then you see rgb it means it's going to be in colored like i'm going to the bitmap is going to be in colored and if you look at it nothing it doesn't actually look like something happened right let me control z you see let me redo this is after i converted it to bitmap this is before this is after now let me take it back to before now let me run another so another command you can use to bring this bitmap out is right alt alt on your keyboard key plus b then plus greater than alt b greater than it will bring out the convert to bitmap for you so this is the short command short code um, this is a short command against to bring this out so let's use same yk so same yk and rgb are almost the same because the converter designed to colored and then if you let's undo you see let's with you so you see a little changes was there so let's click our uh, convert to bitmap again or to be greater than uh now if i convert this to black and white you see my design will turn to black and white you see now so that's the function of the convert to bitmap you understand so that is what convert to bitmap does so convert to bitmap gives you any images and it will convert it to anything that you want it to be so if you convert this black and white now to gyk like that you see it just added more color to it but it's not going to change from black to black and to colored that's because the design is now in black but if it is in colored it will increase the sharpness of the design you understand so if the image is very very dull you can use this um, convert to bitmap to sharp to sharpen to, to make sure it um the design the image is very very sharp so that's what the bit uh, bitmap does so alt b greater than convert to bitmap now the resolution of the image you can do 900 to be more sharper you understand to be more sharper you see now you see you see you see that image is now more sharp than the previous one right so let's do um let me zoom in this content uh, let's say this you see um let me say f9 so you see this one i see is sharp uh let's take it back to the previous one and you see this is not sharp enough so that is what uh, bitmap does and um you see effect i like this effect aspect as well so this effect has a lot of functions and we will not be able to point out all these functions i will not explain all of them but uh the major ones that you will need majorly to get started i will just show you and along the line when we are working on new projects that requires us to use any of these functionalities and then we use them and then we'll see how far we can go from there so let's let's um let's convert this image let's adjust the image when you click on adjust you can click on auto adjust so auto adjust will automatically adjust this content for you using auto adjust um you see it's more bolder now you see the content is more bolder it changes the color of the content so you can do adjust again 
so you can use contrast enhancements if you use contrast enhancements so you can enhance the color you can increase the gamma you can see you can reduce it so this gamma you can change it to magenta so depending on any color that you are giving it so it will be changing based on that color that's the any colors that you are trying to apply to that design if it is black channel you see you can have a black stuff like that so it will be having effect on this image so you if you are if by the time you started using this um, adjust option call a uh, contrast enhancement or more you become pro in no time because the design will be top notch you understand so um let's let me go back to the previous one and then um, let me import um another image me about this dude look at all that me did all right so this guy right here uh, let me just go to effects adjust let me do um brightness so if you want to make someone that is black yellow <laughs> this is what we do this is how we do it in corridor so you increase the contrast you see this guy is yellow already so the guy will be more yellow now you understand and then the intensity you reduce it can't see his face you see now you see a very yellow guy now is becoming much more yellow understand you see so the intensity the brightness can reduce it you see the guy is now more black. so depending on how you want that person to look a uh, finer understand or you want to improve the quality of that image you can see let me reset it you see what we have you see the, the picture is not that clear but now by the time you started applying this effect you see it's getting more clearer you see so now depending on how you can utilize this uh, brightness contrast intensity to actually make the design come out fine in the start to come out uh, to the image to come out more bolder and finer and then you can this someone that is black like i said <laughs> to be yellow so this is what we this is what we use majorly here you get it so you can use um effect again just use um tone curve so this tone curve is i like it a lot because i use it majorly you see along the line that we started working on projects you see that uh, this uh tone curve actually is a miracle it makes your content very very bold it's black you see like it will give your design much more maturity to give your design much more boldness to make it lighter now depending on how you want the design to look you see you can change the way the design look entirely now if you call me a finish all the design will be black <laughs> that's the function it deepens the clarity of your design so that's what this aspect does so if you don't cop i normally use it a lot because i like it so i can just be using this to based on my taste if i want the image to be more sharper that so i normally use this to do that i can click on ok you see this image is let me import another one let me import the original image and you will see the difference let me delete this one so because of the application that we uh, because of the little uh, application the application that we that we did right now uh, with the effects you see you see let me put it so that we can compare the two using the effects we can even see like this these two are different right you see you guys see that zoom this so that we can only see one day so the full screen i'm pressing f9 for full screen so you see now the this one that is right here is now more lighter brighter than this as a result of the effect that we use so depend on the images you are working on this is how it will it will be in the start so are we so the blur aspect we just make the image blur like that let's see click on blur then how you want your blur to be so is a feather 
two the more you want it to be like then you can do and you can do a lot of things with this one you can change it to linear you can change it to gaussian you can change it to curved depending on the way you want so that is what all this effect does effects makes your design entirely different you edit a lot of things you see you're adding noise you are like a stone to the graphics you know stuff like that and you know random stuff like that you know you touch it just like you're touching your picture your images to be of another quality so that's how this works you can do it 3d you can do it 3d with it or your image and then you see how okay let's do 3d uh horizontal so let's let's do this so as you can see the more you change this let's say we give this nine or i'll give it 75 and you see let's give it back seven let's say we give it um 20 that's what we have so this is kind of the shape rotation for 3d that you're going to be getting so 3d rotation right here this is how it works so and then um you can emboss so this kind of 3d you see changes it you can based on how you want to have your direction maybe this is okay you can make it black then you go for gray and use the original color then you can deepen this to emboss it and you see you can give it gray you know stuff like that can reduce the level you can take it back so depend on how you want your 3d to look like you can turn that image to 3d so let's see cylinder okay so let's reduce the percentage see see so this we change the aspect of your design entirely um let's do vertical you see so you can make <laughs> you can do a lot of things with this you want to make a design make it make a person look maybe you don't like the person <laughs> you understand maybe that person you, maybe that person to solve it for you that is very bad and that's that you can just take the picture of that person make the person head look out of water like this like you know i'm just saying right just to be funny you know stuff like that but then that's not the idea of it but you can do a lot of crazy stuff in the 3d aspect of the project and we do more of um, 3d design right we do that at the long run but for now so let's just stick with the basics first um so open the text aspect that's when we have a text we can let's say we have um texting like that and i click on text you know I, I like this text i can edit the text i can do can fix text to parts and i love this aspect of fixed text to parts majorly it works when you are trying to design a logo stuff like that and blah 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 like that it helps you a lot to fix your content in a very good uh, aspect of the uh, of how you want your text to reside in a particular text so table you can insert table you can create a table let's create a table first how many rows three columns at was the height click it automatically to create the table for you so bring the table right here so you can click on this table right um that's what i like about this name corridor which can auto generate to table that you want can increase the table here seven to add more seven can reduce it back to two or can reduce it to three can increase the vertical and um, the columns uh let's say eight like that you can increase the space you can say this is going to be eight and then it will give you 
um, then the horizontal you can say seven heights so this is going to make whatever you are trying to do to form a table very fast with these tools of table you can create multiple table in the start and then your table is going to be wow really nice you can delete this so these tools window so now let me just quickly show you this uh, window aspect um, i like this windows aspect because of it allows you to add uh, this section is very very good for example i have this testing so this testing and i want to link this testing to i want to add the link inside of it so i want to put, click on this testing it will take them to the web page it will take them to the link that i added to it so how do i add the link to my content on CorelDRAW? so this is how you go about it you type your text let's say um www.skillsad.com www right so this www.skillsad.com that i put here now this skillsad.com i can come to this window go to dockers docker this docker and then i click on link and rollover i click on link and will be bring me the link and rollover link right there so i can input my link here say the url www.skillsad.com so this if i if i hit on if i hit enter right now so i want the target to i don't want it to target none so i just i just leave it this way and I will make it um can change the color to I don't want it to I like I like blue color. So it was a bit blue like that. So this is linked already. So this is linked. Any if I save this content in um if I save it in uh what's it called? A PDF. So if I click this link, it's going to go directly to PDF. Um it's going to go directly to the link for this website let's let's quickly publish this to pdf um let's say lesson one pdf right let's save this and let's go to the documents and let's go to pdf where are you mm. so let me just sort this So I will sort by date modifier. Okay. Okay, so this is the lesson. So I am the one that set this like this do this PDF. It has it's saved as PDF like this. Save as PDF. You know, the reason why I put it like this is because I want my PDF to open on Chrome. Understand? So that's why I set it that way. So if I open this PDF now on my Chrome, to open on my Chrome, and I will show you how the how the link works. So Alright, so F3, F3, F3 to zoom, then F4 to bring the entire section of the screen. I can bring this cursor there, press F4 again to zoom it well for me. I'm done with this link and roll over for the link, how to add the link. I've done that. I just remove this. Now, we know this is. So, this is a. Uh, let me reduce this. Oh, 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 sorry about that. So why this thing? So thank God we have this kind of um, issues when we save to, when we save to P, uh, PDF. Aha, now let me give you the solution to this. The reason why that is shared like that is because this content is not inside, it's not inside the page. This is the page. It's outside. That was why the skills I was not working. 
in the stand so it was supposed to be inside the page so let's try and save this publish to pdf again and uh, let's say to say replace this right replaced and then let's refresh this okay now you see all is well still sad now you see when i click on this it does not bring um uh, anything for but once i click on this if i click on this it's going to open the link we're going to open the link to that uh, skill side you see now so the see, see the skill side now right now where you can create a course and stuff like that so to take it there like that to take you to that section like that so that's how you can add link to your content uh, so under this window as well i you can select more option to add to your bar if you click on zoom it adds zoom to your bar like that automatically you know it is when you press zoom before the, the zoom will appear but if you select this window select your toolbar add zoom zoom will always be displaying on your window and you can add it here you click here and add it there and that's the zoom right there can double click it to remove it back from there um, so um, so you can you can remove this back from there just go to your window go to toolbar and then select the zoom option and it will leave that section and another thing on this window is a um, color palette i like this as well it allows you to choose colors from an image or from your design so let's go to toolbar uh, sorry let's go to docker and select color select this color i normally have this on my sidebar color because it's very important links and rollover i normally have it so immediately i press the color i see it right say and what the color allows me to do is if i have any design if i have any design in my corridor like let me import this picture let me import this blue again This bro, I want to design for this bro, and I need this color from this design. I can select this, I can come to this pick to uh color eyedropper to pick the color that I want. You see, when I click on the dark color, it gives it gives me that color. Now, the usefulness of this thing is if I click on any of this text and I've I said and I click on fill, it will apply this color for me. If I click on outline, it will apply that color for me. So you see, so the difference between fill and outline, let me show you again. So when I click on fill, it gives me the color that I apply. If I, pick, if I click on this, pick this, any color that I pick from any of any workspace here, and if I click here now, and I click on fill, they change this color for me. Now, outline, we do the same. Now, let me click on AW. A W A I W. So let me write type another A I W. I I give it blue. Now let me give it an outline. You see, it added an outline to it. Now what outline does is how can you how can you hide outline from this color palette? Right, say, right click on this color, and then select outline. It will give you black. Now after it gives you black, after it gives you black, you can after it gives you black, uh, black, you can do something right here. You can add something. You can add more. Uh, you can add more to this section right here. Like if you want to add more tools to the section, you can click on that add and then add more section to that <clears throat> to that place right. Now this you can press F12. And the reason why you are pressing F12 is because you want to allow that uh, outline to be very very bold you can see outline pen i added two widths then it will be bolder i can change the color right click on any of this color set outline so to apply red color to this for me so that is how you can do outline now if i click any of this color to change sorry i have not selected the test 
click on this green blue like that black but if i right click it's going to give me set outline you can set the outline if i right click you can set the outline you can change the outline or if i click only without right clicking if i click only but no right click it's going to be giving me the fill so that is the fill it is when you right click and you set out the outline that it will now add another color like this to your content so that is the difference between fill and a uh, outline thank you very much for your time um this is where i will stop for today um see you in the next video um thank you